This episode is brought to you by Zazzle.com. Millions of creators, buyers, and sellers, billions of products. Use our code EVERYDRINK10, save 10% off orders of $50 or more. Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to do the pineapple bite. This is submitted by Philip, like, last June. <laughs> <laughs> Way to get around to the drinks. Uh, there are certain ones I like to pair in certain ways, and there's so many to go through. And uh, there was probably something I didn't have at the time. Uh, maybe it was, like, the pineapple juice. I don't really know why I didn't do this. It was embedded. Philip sent a few drinks. I'm getting to it now. Well, goes to show you will eventually get to I recipes. will get to your recipes unless it's like some crazy ingredient that I have yet to buy and that happens. We get like the elderflower liqueur or something, some stuff from Europe that I can't even buy. So it's like I have them in there. If I for some reason ever find it, I've got drinks to make. That's how I did the, Zubro- the Zubrovka. I didn't have uh, right. bison grass. So we get to them. Uh, this one's going to have some orange liqueur. I picked Combier. I was on the edge between Combier and maybe Patron Citronage. I couldn't figure out which one I wanted to go with or Cointreau, which is what the recipe kind of calls for, or orange liqueur in general. The the trick here, and this is where I get a little, I'm not so sure about this one. I'm, I'm hoping it's pineapple bite, so you're going to get, I'm guessing, some sort of sourness from it. There's going to be an ounce of lime juice. This is where it all comes down to. It's extra dry vermouth. And there's two ounces of extra dry vermouth, one ounce of the Combier Rouge, and the lime juice. And then you put the pineapple, you top it off at the end. So I have no idea what this is going to taste like. It's going in a highball. Shake and drink. My garnish, I am going to be garnishing it with a blade on the top of a pineapple. Happen to have a pineapple, so I just cut it. If you don't, don't sweat. Just get, like, one of these. But if you get one of those... I cut that out of the pineapple that I cut this out of. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Buy a pineapple and enjoy it the whole time. Especially if you have kids, just serve it up. So let's get going. We're going to shake a drink this week. It happens. So I'm going to put ice. We're going to put that in last. So we'll go ahead and dump our one ounce of lime juice. Freshly squeezed, mind you. No artificial preservatives or... uh, I don't know where I was going with that. thought it was going to sound cooler than it really was. Now, this is going to make this drink super dry. You didn't squeeze it from the plastic lime? I did not squeeze it from the plastic lime. A little lime. You squeeze it at people's faces. Right in their eyes. Ah! Anyway, I got to watch out. Sometimes I get so animated that somebody had sent me a picture. You know the uh, Irish trash can? Which everybody loved. The Irish trash can cocktail for St. Patrick's. cool. They, they sent me an email with a picture of me going with this thing in my hand. They took one frame. Now they could do it with that. <laughs> but it's amazing what you could do when you freeze the picture. Where you play a video frame by frame. Yeah, you could do anything you want when you start playing things frame by frame. You can paint a mustache on me. <laughs> put you in the Eiffel Tower? Uh, you might be able to put me in the Eiffel Tower. I... I don't exactly know how you'd go about doing that, but... You said anything. It is. You can. It is. Anything. You can give me a chick head. You know, like cut... Like like, a baby chicken? I was thinking more like um, Sandra Bullock or something. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know why I picked Sandra Bullock. I hate her. I think. Oh, that's not nice. Well, not hate her as a person, just as an actor. She's an actress, first of all. Why are you no discriminating? No wonder why you hate her. You, sh- <laughs> you don't even know who she is. <laughs> you should, it, it's an actress, but you don't have to. Equal opportunity. Call them all the same thing. You don't call a male woman a male woman. You call her a mailman. No, actually, really. I call him a male person. <laughs> oh, male person. How new school. All right, well, male person. Whoa, there's a lot in here. I don't really know what I need to get. I don't want to make this too bitter. I guess I'll give it a try and then I can balance, right? 
see how this comes out. Now this, this is huge. So we're gonna just, ow! Did I just do that? Yeah, this is made of metal with a point. It hurts a lot. I saw this on a, on a Picardi ad where they did this, so I thought it'd be cool to do that. Check it out. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't that look like I actually know what I'm doing? It almost looks as obnoxious as that celery that we saw in that Bloody Mary. <laughs> we, went to this, we went to the restaurant and this lady had a celery stick that high out of her Bloody Mary. It was insane. Whoa, that is like vermouth on steroids. It might be too much vermouth. It is definitely bitter and dry and... It's like wine, almost like a white wine in there. It's gonna be there. You get a dryness. I don't get too much bite. And definitely, the bite is accented a little bit by that dryness. It dries your face. And then that bite is left there to kind of just sit there and bite you um it and it all it's all pineapple other than that there's maybe a hint of orange but really i think that the dry vermouth plays such a big role that the orange liqueur or orange you know orange liqueur just is not predominant in this drink maybe it has a little complexity let me try it again still having a hard time finding exactly the orange is coming in. Definitely gets the acidity though from the lime. Overall, it's different. Very not what you'd expect from it, from its look. It looks like it's going to be super sweet, but if you bite a pineapple, you don't get a sweetness. You're going to get more of a, I guess it tastes more like a pineapple, like a raw, fresh pineapple, which is what we got in there. So that is the pineapple bite. Give that a try. Even if it's not your favorite cocktail in the world, and I have plenty of cocktails that have not been my favorite, being able to try them gives you the ability to then make another cocktail with maybe a half ounce or two ounces of dry vermouth. And, and you can kind of imagine what you've already had and compare it to some of the different ingredients that you find in the next cocktail. So I'm your host, Derek Somer. Check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv over there. And we're teaching you how to drink.